This is a quick tour of PubGet, the fastest way to search science. Suppose you're a doctor or a scientist. You want to keep up on what's going on in your field. Well, the way you do this today is start off by going to a site called PubMed. It's a free government search engine and index. It gets about 100 million hits per year. It's pretty much where it's at. Suppose you want to look up what Mark Kirshner, a leading systems biologist, has been writing lately. Well, you type in his name, hit enter, and you get this list of results. These are the authors, title, journal, and so forth. Now, as a doctor or scientist, what you really want is to be sitting down with the actual literature itself. You want to get 10 papers, you want to sit down with them, flip through them, be thinking science, be thinking great things. Well, you can get there from here, but it ain't pretty. What you do is click on one of these results, takes you to an abstract page. Up here in the corner, there are links. Click on one of those links. That'll take you to a page with a link to the PDF. Click on that. And of those 10 that you want to read, all right, there you go, you got one. You want to get another, you go back to your list, click on the second one, takes you to the abstract page. Again, link in the corner, click that. Over here, there's a link to the PDF. You click that. All right, it wants you to wait a couple of seconds for an automatic download. We can do that. All right, we get sick of waiting and we click begin manual download. And eventually, eventually, there, you got your second PDF. And so on and so forth. And you can try Google Scholar or a couple of other solutions, but pretty much it's the same thing. A little faster in some cases, a little slower in others. The fact of the matter is doctors and scientists do this so often that you actually get pretty good at it. And you can get to where you can get from one of these result pages all the way to the PDF in about 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds if it's uh, linking structure is a little bit more complicated in nature. And this journal tends to be a little bit more complicated. All right, so it takes you to this page first. You click there, and you get to know where the links are, because you do this so often. And there you go. I mean, it took us a couple minutes. We got the first four. I'm not going to belabor the point. You can imagine if you want to get your top 10 or 20 and just sit down and read them, well, that's like a three to five minute exercise, which is long enough that you know you pretty much end up forgetting what it is you wanted to get to those papers for in the first place. That's the problem. Now let me show you our solution, PubGet. It's got a home page. Just like in PubMed, type in your search, hit enter. You get your results right here down the left. But bam, just that fast, you're already reading that first PDF. And you can click on it, and you can scroll, you can read. You can already be doing science and not worrying about searching for it. You want to get that second PDF? Well, it's already there. And your third one, just that fast. Pretty much as fast as you can click, those PDFs come up. So here, we've already just gotten eight, what, seven, eight, nine, ten PDFs. You can go back and clock it, and I encourage you to, and you'll find that just in what we've shown you right now, we have saved the scientist or the doctor an order of magnitude of time. I've just clicked on the next the next 10 results just to show you that that too is really just that fast. And the point here is that again, instead of worrying about where to find the literature of spending all your time clicking minutes of your day and minutes, you know, turn into hours pretty quickly when you have to look through hundreds of these things for a paper or something. You know, we've saved you all that time that you can just get to a page and just be reading it. And of course, we wouldn't be showing you this if it weren't the tip of the iceberg, but I'll just leave it at that. This will be your introduction. And uh, we hope it's the future. Welcome to PubGet.